What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. Today we're going to go over yet again another heartbreaker build. It really is turning into heartbreakers amazing. What gun is the best to run with it? But before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more division videos. Or even better come on over to Twitch and hit follow. I could be streaming live right now. And if you need a community discord, it is absolutely buzzing in there right now with all of the new TU15 stuff. You'll find the link down below in the description. Okay, so let's get started. So Heartbreaker is just really good. There is no doubting that. And I've been trying to mix these videos up a little bit and come away from Heartbreaker and do something a little bit different. But I wanted to throw in a Lady Death video. So this is the build I decided to go with. Now, I actually threw in a couple of blues with this build uh, because I don't normally, I'm usually all red, but it felt like I could afford to throw in a couple of blues. It even feels like I could probably throw in another blue on top of this and go three and three. It really does feel like three and three for up close and personal, if you don't want to go all red, is really the way to go. I also wanted to throw in the Coyotes mask this time and do things a little bit different. Usually I go for consistency. Uh, but I do feel like the Coyote's Mask can actually peek you out just that with a little bit higher damage every now and again, which, you know, it's just rather nice when it actually happens to you. So, I'm running the Gunner Specialization. Don't forget to spec out into SMG damage. You only can select three guns at once in there. We get Rates of Fire. We get some Armor on Kill. All good. So, definitely good there. Obviously, you are going to need to be hitting headshots for this to be able to build your stacks. There's no with no pulse, with no uh, linked laser pointer or anything like that. But obviously we're running the uh, the rock and roll uh, with the extra mag size. It just makes it really, really easy to to build stacks. And what you'll see, I've put some, a little bit of countdown footage and a little bit of heroic footage at the end. Uh, you'll see that actually most of the time, red bars die with the rock and roll rather than even getting to the main gun. So that's how crazy these builds have now become. Looking at the Lady Death, which is the the gun I wanted to do it on, it comes with SMG damage, crit chance, and damage to armor. So it makes it really, really easy to get to, you know, 50 or 60% crit chance and then focus on critical hit damage everywhere else. The talents breathe free. When moving, gain four stacks per second or eight stacks if sprinting, up to 32 stacks in total. Each round fired then consumes a stack, amplifying damage by 75%. And kills grant 20% movement speed afterwards for 10 seconds. So you just got to keep moving. And that literally is what Heartbreak is all about as well. You know, just being up close and personal, quick damage. It just seems to lead into the whole set and work really, really well. The Coyote's Mask comes with crit chance and crit damage. And I put a crit damage mod in here. Uh, you and your allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit. And generally, I'm going to be, you know, up close and personal between this naught and 15 uh, meters here. So we're going to be either be getting the 25% crit damage, or we're going to be getting the 10% critical hit damage and 10% critical hit chance. So we're generally going to be getting both of them buffs all of the time. So that's why I've not got 60% crit chance in this build. You will see in a minute, uh, because generally I will be at cap, but then also I could be peaking with a little bit of extra damage at the same time. And I am buffing the team. Gloves wise, I've gone with the Sokolov gloves. Uh, you can see these just slightly unoptimized at the moment because I don't want to waste the materials if the build wasn't any good. Uh, but we get 10% SMG damage. We get more crit damage. We've got some more crit chance and obviously the red core on these. Then we'll look at the Heartbreaker set. If you don't already know, where have you been or have you been under a rock for the last week? Two pieces gives us assault and LMG damage, which makes no difference to us. Three pieces gives us weapon handling, and four pieces gives us heart stopper. And this is what makes it worth running this gear set and not really being too fussed about the two piece bonus. But heart stopper applies pulls for five seconds if you hit them in the head. Weapon hits on pulsed enemies add a stack of 1% bonus armor and 1% damage to pulsed enemies, and it'll go up to 50 stacks. And then we lose two stacks every second. But with the backpack and the chest piece, that can go up to, well, 100 with the 
chest piece for the damage and the backpack actually lets us go all the way up to double that because we get 2% instead of 1% uh, for bonus armor. So with a couple of blues, all of a sudden you've got a lot of armor at the same time. Just look at the, the stats I've got on them. I've got crit damage, crit damage with armor on the backpack. Knee pads, armor, crit damage. Chest piece, weapon damage, crit damage, crit damage. And then with the holster, weapon damage, crit hit damage. And I'm running the reviver hive and the shield. There's lots of different ways you can run Heartbreaker. The damage is so good out of it that you literally take your pick how you want to run this. But I feel like this is one of the better ways to, to run it. Uh, you could swap this out for the Catharis if you really wanted to. You know, if you wanted to take that third blue, that's you know I would probably just do this. Just swap this out. You are going to lose out on some crit chance and crit damage, but you're going to gain the damage buff from Vicious Cycle, which can go up to 50% weapon damage as well. And then you're going to get the heal. And obviously you've got the, the extra blue if you feel like you just want to play it a little bit safer and go 3-3. Three and three. Either that... Or you could take a Seska backpack, but a Seska mask, sorry. Or even better, take the uh, the group or mask for the uh, one piece permanent crit damage. Uh, but obviously, you're not buffing the team then, and you know you get a little bit more with this in certain situations. But there's plenty of options. Let's look at the stats. So I'm at 53% crit chance, which I talked about earlier on. 156% crit damage. We're a few percent off because we're not quite optimized, but that is crazy. 70% headshot, 6% damage to armor, and generally all out craziness. SMGs seem to be the way to go. This set is definitely not built for SMGs. You know, Hunter's Fury was given to us for SMGs. This should be all about assault rifles and LMGs, but with assault rifles, and LMGs, although yeah, really good. The Dur LMG is good. Kimbrick is good. SMGs also shine with this set. So don't overlook them, guys. Let me know. I'm going to try the Chatterbox out as well with this build. So there might be another video yet if that turns out to be absolutely insane. But we'll see. But I appreciate you watching. Enjoy the footage at the end. Don't forget to subscribe or come on over to Twitch and say hi. And if you need that Discord for all that kinds of division help, you need raid help or things like that, jump in there as well and say hi. And I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the footage, guys. Enjoy the patch of the Heartbreaker. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Sun's forces. They maintain this outpost. The True Sun will be a direct threat to the campus.
That can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. 